Hello, hello, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about why dinner seems to be the hardest meal of the day. So let's chat about that in this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited for this one because I get asked this question a lot. Why is it so hard for me to make a healthier choice at dinner time? So I want to talk about a couple things in this video. But before we begin, you can enjoy some delicious dinners. Grab some or all of our ebooks. The code is rawfood40 to get 40% off. The link is in the description box below or right here on the screen. Add more delicious raw food to your life. We all know that we could be eating more healthfully and adding more raw food to your diet is a great way to include more fresh food. You do not have to be a raw vegan to enjoy these meals. So go check it out if you're interested. And for today, we're going to be talking about why dinner is sometimes the hardest meal of the day. So why is it that after work, you get home and you're tired and whatever, and you're just like, oh, I just, I don't want to make something. And dinner is such a struggle for a lot of people. I have a few thoughts on this, and again, these are just my thoughts, but for number one, people are not eating enough during the day. They leave for work really early, maybe they just have a coffee, they grab a bagel or a donut or a muffin or something, and they don't eat enough calories in the morning, or the calories that they are eating are way too high in fat, and the body doesn't have any instant energy, so they rely on coffee to give them that boost in the morning. They're just not eating enough really good high quality fuel. And then lunch comes around and maybe they skip lunch because they have so much to do for work. Maybe they have another coffee or they do have a salad, but maybe it's got a really high fat dressing. So they feel sluggish after that, or they ate junk food because maybe everyone ordered something from a restaurant at work and everyone ate the same thing and you went along with it. And now you're feeling, ugh. And maybe you didn't eat enough. Maybe you didn't bring your lunch. Maybe you brought a lunch, but it was a small lunch and maybe you don't know how much you need to eat. So you are under eating. And then say you had lunch at noon and then you're finished work at five. Maybe you don't get into your vehicle until 5.30. I'm just using nine to five as an example. It depends on how what hours you work, but after that, you get home, you drive home, it has like half an hour to drive home. Maybe you have the kids that you have to pick up or you have to go shopping really quickly or whatever. There's so many things that happen in our day-to-day -day life that distract us and that keep us from eating. So if you didn't get home until say six o'clock or seven or even 7.30, it's been how many hours from when you last ate? And if you hadn't been eating enough during the day, then you're gonna get home, you're gonna be tired because you didn't get enough energy throughout the day and because you worked, I mean, you're expending energy and you need to replace that energy and fuel yourself properly. So you're gonna be tired, you might be stressed out, you're running on empty, you're running on those caffeine fumes that are left of the half-life of coffee. You're just like dragging yourself and you're tired. Your family might be hungry or if you're single, you're just like, oh, I just wanna watch Netflix or what have you. That's why dinner, I think, is the hardest meal of the day because we're not eating enough or properly during the day. I find that if I don't eat enough in the morning, I don't feel as vibrant. I mean, I still feel great, I still feel awesome, but it's not as amazing as when I fuel myself properly in the morning. It's so incredibly important to eat that breakfast especially if you have a really long, big day ahead of you, which most of us do every single day is a big day. We all have our own struggles and stresses and things that we need to do. And fueling ourselves is very, very important. It's so very important. I can't stress it enough. We got to fuel up and eat properly. So looking at what you're eating and how often you're eating can really help. So having a massive breakfast, uh, I personally prefer high carb breakfasts because I feel like adding the fat can contribute to any sluggish feelings. So fruit, 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 and fruit smoothies, green smoothies, add a lot of fruit, have a carbs in the morning to fuel yourself throughout the day and make sure that you bring an adequate lunch. I know not everybody has a decent amount of time for lunch, but trying to get as many calories as you can in lunch, again, high carb, 
having a small amount of fats, healthy fats like omega-3s should be a focus and making sure that you eat enough as much as you can within your lunch break. So smoothies are really great to get a lot of calories in faster. Um, maybe if you wanted to not go all raw, maybe have some denser calories like rice or potatoes, starches, that kind of thing with your lunch with salad and that can help you get you through. But then the key here would be to have something to snack on after work, before you leave your office or maybe in your vehicle before you drive home, have some fuel, eat something so that you're breaking up that amount of time between when you ate lunch and when you're gonna eat dinner. So maybe have some fruit or maybe eat the rest of your lunch, eat something healthful before you leave work or in your car before you drive home so that you have that satiation, at least even if it's a little bit, maybe two or three bananas is enough to help get you to home. And when you eat that healthier option after work, it's really going to help you and your mindset when you're driving home. You're gonna feel better because you made a better choice and you're going to drive past those drive throughs and just do what you need to do to get home because you're not gonna be starving and, and just tired. Because a lot of times tired is a signal that you're hungry. And that's something that people don't really pay too much attention to because we feel hungry is that feeling in our stomach or just that insatiable need to eat. But sometimes hunger is also in the form of tiredness and stress irritability, emotional roller coaster, that kind of thing can also be signs that you are hungry. So tired is another form of hungry. So we wanna make sure that we're eating enough so that we can actually get through our day and be able to get home and make a healthy dinner for our family. And it also helps to eat in between lunch and dinner to make those healthier choices when you do get home. So you're not just like, oh, I just wanna put a pizza in the oven. I don't wanna make anything healthy because you're so tired because you didn't have enough energy throughout the day. So those are my opinions on why dinner tends to be one of the hardest meals of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you wanna get notifications for more, you can click the little bell and they'll be sent to you whenever I post a new video. You can also enjoy any or all of our ebooks, there's over 700 oil free raw vegan recipes in, across all of our ebooks. You can get 40% off with code rawfood40. The link is in the description box below or right here on the screen. So I hope you guys again enjoyed this video. And until the next one, I love you all so much and fruit on.